I feel pretty. Thank you. One, one hello from the audience. I'll, I'll leave and come back. I get it, you're tired from the weekend, it's hard, you're amateur party animals, you'll catch up. Really, new people, just do your drinking on Mondays. <laughs> Leave the weekends to the amateurs. Good heavens, are we having fun yet? I wanna thank Kasha, who stepped up at the last minute. Uh, our own Kelly Nygren was feeling a little under the weather tonight, so she took the evening off. You can do that. So, we have to be, I can't, but you know, you guys can. But don't keep coming back. Yeah, all right. So, I'm kind of glad. I mean, we, we talked a little bit earlier about the holiday, the Halloween show. It's pretty exciting, yeah? yeah? It was pretty nuts. It was an all-time record number of people in this room. You, could, you couldn't move. It felt like it. There was not enough air conditioning to go around. And then after that, a lot of the performers, shout if you're a performer and you're in this room. Yeah. Just a couple of them. We're working for the rest of that week, I guarantee it. I know I did, I know Mr. Slick over there did, I know a bunch of other people were out at event sites. Um, I spent a lot of time playing the devil. I was thinking typecasting myself, but you know, it pays the bills, being evil. So I, ha I have to share with you my, my ultimate experience of being the devil, other than the really awesome sunburn I got being the devil. I've got like reverse horn, ask me later, I'll show, I'll show you. I'm just saying, I should have done sunblock, I had no idea. But I was at a corporate event where they were having us bring people into a party. And I noticed something, none of the kids are afraid of the devil. I mean, not a one. I mean, little kid comes in, looks at me and goes, I'm on stilts, I might point out. So I've got cloven hooves, I'm like really tall, I'm black fingernails, and well, I look like this, basically. <laughs> most of the time, most of the time, you take one look at this, you're a child, and someone's therapist is thinking, summer home. <laughs> but in this case, no reaction. I'm thinking, what the hell am I doing wrong? And I finally hear the parents talking, and I'm listening to the parents, and the parents say, this is so much better than last year. And I'm listening. Last year they had a clown. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hang on, stay with me till the end because it gets so much worse. The clown was a stilt walking clown, so a nine foot tall clown, covered in blood, carrying an ax that jumped out at children. <laughs> okay. Summer home. And I'm thinking to myself, that's not the clown, that's the devil dressed up as a clown. And that's when I had my moment. I realized these children have been tortured and traumatized. And so what my job was to be a clown dressed up as the devil. And I chained, I threw all the tactics out. Next thing I knew, I see someone dressed as a witch and I teach her spells to keep monsters from getting under her bed. That sounds suspiciously like a nursery rhyme. Just go. So much fun I had with these kids and we're rocking out that they invited me to the party. I was supposed to stay outside. They said, no, 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 get in the party. You're more fun than everything going on there. That's awesome, but you really shouldn't tell me that in front of the person who hired me. <laughs> Just saying. So they take me down to the party and there's a dance floor. There's a DJ with nobody there because it's a corporate party, which is to say music's going, everybody's going. And you're not allowed to drink between three and five at work. Well, okay, I drink at work, but I work here. <laughs> well, I call this the special torture that keeps me from having to do community service, actually. But there I am, and I decide the only logical thing to do is to dance in my stilts with the kids. So the devil can do the electric slide is worthy of note. So I'm rocking on, I'm having a good time, kids are cheering, all except one little princess over in the corner who has basically adhered herself to what I assume is daddy. Just <laughs> And I decide I should walk over there and try to help being the good clown that I am. And about this time I remember, oh, dressed like Satan. Okay, so I, 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 I lean up against a wall and I go, I go, 
and, and he starts the little, now don't worry, we want to show you something, and this is very important. I kind of walk around a corner, and somehow there's things that happen. You'll notice this tonight. Little synergies in perfect moments where people start communicating without saying a word. Those conversations go, you know, yeah, totally, uh-huh. I had that, and, I, and, and the conversation went down, we're going to unfreak your child and save you from having to buy her therapist a summer home. <laughs> Maybe just a small bungalow instead. <laughs> Timeshare. So I'm over against the wall. I'm leaning against the wall. Dad says, no, I need you to turn and look. Little princess finally braves up and the head timidly turns around. And I pull up my pants leg and I show the magical apparatus that allows me to be a gigantic still walking monster. And the little kid looks down and looks up at me with this sort of, I have been lied to. <laughs> and I lean in because at this point the terror is gone because kids are like that. I said, it's all smoke and mirrors. It's all magic. The truth is I'm actually a clown and this is my Halloween costume. <laughs> and she grins and she says, I love the circus. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I unpacked, went off to another gig and called it a day. Let me tell you this, if you can ever change a kid's mind, do it. Including, most importantly, if you are that kid, okay? Thank you. And welcome to the madhouse we call the open stage, where we will try so desperately to change your mind. Now.